हिस्ट्री या इतिहास का महत्व क्या है कंट्री और नेशन में फर्क क्या है नेशन क्या होता है फॉर ऑल प्रैक्टिकल पर्पसेस इंडिया मे बी भारत गणराज्य बट दिस इज एक्चुअली यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया इज नेशन डिफाइंड बाई फिजिकल फीचर्स लैंग्वेज रेस वॉट आलमगीर औरंगजेब वॉज अ टायरेंट वॉज एन ऑपरेसर बट ही इज सम वन हु इज अ रोल मॉडल वर्द ऑफ एम्यूलेशन Namaste subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our regular videos like the video and do leave a comment below so youtube recommends this to more like minded souls and do share our videos with others to help spread the message I'm not a trained historian I'm just an average student of history I'm just someone who has a huge passion for the subject I'm someone who sees a lot of value in reading the subject in understanding history and its relevance on a day to day basis so it makes sense for someone like me who loves the subject to read about it to understand its value but why should everybody read history is it possible to say that history is where you come from who you are and how did you arrive at where you are today is it possible to make that statement right it's possible there is a word called country and there is a word called nation in dono mein koi antar hai fark hai so since this happens to be a uh, uh, a session that's organized in uh, dr ambedkar's university one of the finest works of his that i have come across and i'm still in the process of reading and understanding and digesting is his beautiful book called pakistan or the partition of india anybody who has a semblance of interest in these two topics anybody who has a semblance of interest in understanding what were the circumstances in which india was partitioned what were the questions that people were faced with please do read this but apart from talking about the specific issue of pakistan the first few chapters are dedicated entirely to understanding three things dr ambedkar discusses three aspects one history ya itihas ka mahatva kya hai two country or nation mein fark kya hai three nation kya hota hai these three questions are beautifully addressed for all practical purposes india may be bharat ganarajya but this is actually united states of india for all practical purposes multiple states with their own distinct identities have come together to believe in what is going to be the topic of the next speaker the idea of india the idea of bharat bharatvarsh but why do they come together in the first place why do people come together what is so common about let's say in undivided india a peshawari pathan and a tamilian from tamil nadu in dono mein to koi at, at least to the common man's eye there is no connection there is no similarity one is perhaps 6 and 1/2 feet tall of a different complexion altogether of a different build altogether and someone from tamil nadu has a very different build altogether different physical features different ways of eating different ways of conducting himself and yet there was a time when we thought that all of us belong to the same nation so is nation defined by physical features language race what so dr ambedkar comes out with a fantastic point where he cites several sources and he says a country is a landmass which provides people with a karm bhumi a field of work for them to act upon and to create their own futures so people plus country the geography plus the subject which is the person environment plus subject makes a nation this is important for us to understand but then the question is how many people of different thought processes world views and languages can come together to form a nation so he answers this in a beautiful way to say a nation is decided only by two things past plus present is equal to nation that means a majority of people should have a shared view of the past and should have at least an overlap of aspirations ki hame aage kahan jana hai unless and until both these ingredients are satisfied you can't call it a nation so assume for a moment 50% of the country believes that 
Alamgir Aurangzeb was a tyrant, was an oppressor. 50% of the country believes that he is someone who is a role model worthy of emulation. That shows a fundamental problem or a fault line in the society. Aap kisko poochte hain aur kisko nafrat karte hain ya kisse nafrat karte hain that matters because that tells you how many areas of commonality you share and how deep is the division on issues that relate to your identity. Therefore, unless and until there is a shared view of your past and a shared vision of your future, there is no concept of a nation. There is no concept of a single nation. There is no idea of a single nation.